Hi everyone, there are some sweet, sweet deals happening at Hobby Lobby, so you're gonna wanna head on down to the poster board aisle. Not the one that's in the paper crafting section, but the one that's kind of like in the school supply area, and you're gonna wanna see these stickers because they are jumbo cupcake stickers. So they range anywhere from about four inches tall to about three to four inches wide, and you're getting all these beautiful other accessories with it. You get stars, hearts, cherries, blueberries, and strawberries all for the low, low price of only 49 cents. It's really nice because we get these six jumbo cupcakes to start with. You can pair them with the folded cards and envelope set that you can also pick up on sale. So I'm gonna choose six of these cards. I'm gonna put these cupcakes on there and as you can already tell, these cupcakes are jumbo cupcakes. They're filling up the whole card so there's really not much that you have to do with this to kind of like decorate it, but how festive and how birthday inspired are these cupcakes? Super, super cute. So I'm also gonna pair this with some ephemera that I picked up from other Hobby Lobby sales and I have the word celebrate on here. I stamped that out but you can really put anything that you want on there. I'm basically in birthday crafting mode. There are so many wonderful birthdays happening in the month of March within my own family within the crafting community so happy happy birthday to all of you wonderful March babies or adults. <laughs> I'm gonna also use this sticker set that I picked up from the sale recently. So you can also use these stickers on these cards as well and you can turn them pretty much into any card that you want. It's nice because all their items kind of coordinate with each other and so you can decorate the envelopes, decorate the cards. This one I also put some extra sequence in. As most of you know, that's one of my favorite, favorite parts of my craft room. I'll leave that linked right here if you wanna check out that portion of my craft room, do a little tour of my little sparkly area. Now that we're done with the cards, let's talk about some other really affordable items that you can find at Hobby Lobby. So you can also find these in that school supply area, so don't leave that poster board aisle. You can pick up these cutouts, you get six different designs, and you get a total of 36 pieces. My camera does not wanna focus too much on these because it has like gold foil on it, so I guess it's kinda like I don't know what's happening with the camera, but basically these have gold foil. It's super pretty. And I know on a previous video, I had wanted to turn some cards into Easter baskets. So now I have my chance. Right now I'm just taking one of these circles, I'm cutting it in half and the yellow marker that you see here, that's actually where I'm just gonna put my glue so that I can have a little pocket. So as you can see here, I made the little egg. Now I can make my basket, I'm gonna use other things that I found in the set, so you can use that as a template. You really don't need to do much to it. So this is how I layered it up. I have my cut half of my circle, and then I have this piece right here because I thought it had like the perfect arch that I could use as an Easter basket. I'm gonna use that same embossing tool that you can find at Hobby Lobby right now for sale. I'm gonna trace this, and I'm just going to have this little indentation, embossed indentation where I can see, use that as my guide to kind of cut a handle out of this. And so now I have my little basket. I'm just gonna put that other half of the circle back on, but do a better job and make sure that you align it correctly. So now you can choose either an egg or an Easter basket. Actually, you know what? If you don't wanna take out all your different types of machines, this is really great to have. You know, you can actually just take this, use this one as a little purse. This one can be just like a circle pocket and it's really cute. You can stuff it with all your extra ephemera pieces. You could probably even turn this into like a mini album if you wanted to. So you definitely do not have to break the bank when you go to this Hobby Lobby sale. There's lots of really great items there that you can pick up. Like again, this set, 36 different pieces you can get for only 57 cents. So you would definitely wanna stay in that aisle because there's more to come. So the next set is gonna be this one right here, which is only 24 cents, less than a quarter, better than Dollar Tree prices. So this is the cute critter cutouts and it comes with all kinds of different images. So you have your foxes and I like that the boxes are actually facing different ways. You have your llama, you have an armadillo, you have some cactus or cacti because it's multiple. Um, and then this one's really cute too. If you want to, you know, do your little fussy cut around the little foxes, make it look a little more polished like the other type of ephemeras that you might have in your collection, definitely do that. So I definitely think that these are a really great investment to have. They definitely pair really well with each other. And again, you can go back to those little circle pockets. You can add these on there as 
well. And I just really like the set because it's only 24 cents, so it's really great to add to your crafty collection. Let's go back to some more circles for 57 cents because why not? It's a sturdy piece of cardboard. You can use it with all your die cuts. You can just use it for other projects as well, ephemera pieces. So these circles right here, you're getting two different, no, you're getting six different designs. You're getting a total of 36 pieces. There's three different sizes. So the largest size is actually six inches. Next size is five inches and the next size is four inches. So again, a total of six different designs. And this is really great as well. More half pockets, or you can actually turn it into an egg, jagged edges. I don't actually know why I didn't pair it together with the same like lines or circle patterns. I probably would do that next time, like keep everything like a solid color as opposed to doing this. But anyways, that's what I went with at the time. And it's really great if you have like dinosaur inspired items, because I know this one's really not much of my color palette that I would use in my own personal collection, but you can definitely still find a lot of use for it. Again, 57 cents. Next one up is going to be 74 cents. So this one is just really pretty. I can imagine you can use this kind of like as your base when you have like rosettes or like any other items, especially the leaves. If you want to do happy mail, you want to add those things onto here, that would be really great. I would actually, and I didn't do it on a project, but I probably would fold the leaf in half and I would just use that as a bag topper. That would be cute as well. So I love these type of products because it's definitely the type of products that are going to be a go-to product when you're in a rush to create like a really quick crafty project and it's also really nice because you know these four items you're getting a whole bunch of different items you know added into your collection for only $2.12 so if you're into like wooden products or wooden items, I don't know, I wasn't really into it, but I was like just kind of curious. So I picked this bag up, it was 99 cents. It was packed full of a lot of stuff and I was like, I wanna see what's in it. So I have this little anchor and actually you get two anchors and you get a little piggy, you get a horse, you get like these race car flags, you get a cow or a bull times two and what else do you get here? the United States, a book on the wall, an arrow. So I would probably use an arrow kind of like with a Heidi swap theme because I feel like arrows was that type of collection. And we have this eraser here. I picked it up because I don't know, it said you can use it on colored pencils. So I tested it out. And as you can see, I have lots of different like pens and pencils that I tried out here. So I tested out colored pencils, a regular pencil, a friction pen, a regular ink gel pen, mid liner pens, and then this red felt tip marker. So basically it worked really well on the pencil and nothing else. You know, I probably could have left this at the store. <laughs> Please don't forget to check out my other previous haul videos as well as my in-store preview of all the sales. I thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested, please don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell that will notify you of all of my new videos. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a very wonderful day.